Hi, it's Lori Hill with Sister Eden coming to you from the Sister Eden screening room with the latest installment of our series, What We're Watching. In this episode, we'll be talking about the documentary Cockfight. Cockfight, now yeah, we're talking. Oh, yeah. It's not porn, John, okay? Oh, yeah, I, I knew that. Cockfight is the story of how North Carolina farmer Craig Watts blew the whistle on big poultry. You know, Purdue, Tyson, those guys. It's a wake-up call to how our American poultry farmer is treated. Back in 1991, Purdue was advertising in the local newspaper about the good living farmers could make raising chickens. Since Craig was a college grad with a business degree, he was excited to put it to good use on the family farm. So when Purdue came a calling with a glossy brochure, Craig signed on with high hopes of living the American dream. Today, Craig would do anything to have back that day in 1991. Instead of saying, my goodness, where do I sign? He'd instead say, no, thank you. You know, I think we Americans hold closely the mythical image of the family farmer working the land, tending flocks, and earning an honest wage. Our nation's founding and history are closely intertwined with the rural heritage that has sadly disappeared. Today, only a half dozen large corporations control the entire poultry industry, and they're squeezing farmers like Craig for every dime they can. After all, it's not about the care and compassion of the chickens, or even the farmer. It's about corporate profit at all costs. So Craig and his fellow poultry farmers are little more than indentured servants, in debt and contractually shackled to big poultry. On top of that, they're not paid fairly. In fact, 71% of today's poultry farmers live below the poverty line. Man, this sucks. I know, where are Willie Nelson and John Mellencamp when we need them? You mean John Cougar? No, he came out as a Mellencamp years ago. Not during Farm Aid, he was definitely not Mellencamp. Okay, can we just talk about this later, please? Okay, how's my hair? The movie Cockfight not only showcases the David and Goliath battle between Craig and Big Poultry, but Craig himself shows us the unsettling conditions he has to subject the chickens to for a fast and cheap buck as dictated by his corporate overlord. So after years and years of worsening conditions, Craig finally blew the whistle on Purdue. And you know what? Surprise! Purdue retaliated. Now many of you know I choose not to eat animal products for three reasons. It's healthier for me, it's better for the environment, and because I don't like how animals are treated during the entire industrial agricultural system, I don't support it with my food dollars. But after watching Cockfight, I realized there was a fourth reason. I don't want to be a part of a system that treats our farmers so miserably. Look, you may not feel the same way I do about how animals are treated or if the planet is in turmoil, but we can no longer ignore the human rights issue caused by industrial agriculture. Farmers work hard every day so that we can eat food every day. I think they deserve a little bit more compassion and respect than a below poverty line income and strong arm tactics from well-lawyered corporations. So how can you see this movie? Well, it's available online, and you'll want to follow the links below, because if you Google Cockfight, well, let me just say, you're going to find a whole different kind of video. Now we're talking. Now, if you're in the Washington, D.C. metro area, you can join a big group of us for a screening on Sunday, November 8th in Silver Spring, Maryland, where you'll get to meet Craig Watts, the farmer in the movie. Our co-sponsor, Food and Water Watch, will also be there to talk about how we can support the Farmer's Rights Act. As a bonus, we're offering a special plant-based meal in advance of the screening from Eco Caterer Zenful Bites. So register today. If you like this video, share your comments and give us a thumbs up on YouTube. Better yet, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching. So John Cougar, John Cougar Mellencamp and John Mellencamp are all the same three men. people who live in a small town. They all live in that same small town. Yep.